Hi, in this video I will show you how to work and what are the advantages of the anti-detect browser Go login. This browser allows you to engage in multi-accounting for affordable paid subscription. And another huge plus of this browser and the whole service is that Go login has a free trial period for 7 days, which allows in general to understand how this service works and whether it's suitable for your tasks. And when we're talking about paid subscription, everything is also quite affordable. You can create several thousand profiles and work with them simultaneously, run ads and use one subscription on multiple devices. Today I will show you how to set up a profile using a mobile proxy from iProxy Online. Working with Go login in combination with iProxy is quite convenient and reliable, because replaceable mobile proxies allow you to do any action with any number of your Go login accounts safely and securely. So the services and platforms with which you're gonna work won't have any questions to your PC and your accounts. Another plus of Go login, it uses Chromium 103 and allows you to input the proxies you use in your work. I will show you how to do it and how to set up your proxy. Well, what else I haven't mentioned yet? Go login solved the copy past issues. Now when you pass data into profiles, everything looks like you're doing it manually. And such services as Facebook, Amazon, eBay, Walmart, Instagram, CoinList and Book makers do not perceive this as an automate actions and they don't have any suspicious to your accounts. Now let's launch Go login and I'll show you how to work and set up a profile. I already said that after registration you get a trial version for 7 days. At the top you have new profile and profile tabs. This is for creating and working with already existing profiles. So you can import profiles but this is only available with a paid subscription. Let's create a new profile now. Click New Profile. As you can see on the right, you have all the information about your browser and what will be displayed during your work. Here you can see User Agent, Language, Operating System. Open first step, Overview. Here you need to select the operation system that will be displayed during your work. But let me remind you that it is better to choose the operation system that is installed on your PC. This is necessary for fingerprints to be created and work correctly. I choose Windows. Now click New Fingerprints to create fingerprints. Next is the Proxy tab. Here you need to set a proxy and I already said that we will be using a mobile proxy from iProxy Online. By default, no proxy is currently selected. You can also use free proxies by choosing a country of which proxy you want to use. But I do not recommend using free proxy, because they are most likely can be used not only by you at the same time, but also by other users. And if you and other users are working with the same platform, then the risk of being banned will be high. Therefore, it is recommended to use private mobile proxies. I use iProxy Online. I go to iProxy Online. I already have a proxy in my account, which I will be using. How to work with iProxy Online you can watch in a review on the channel, and the link will be in the description. Now I need to copy the proxy data and enter it into Go login. And another useful thing here, change IP URL. That allows you to change the IP address by reference. iProxy provides such an opportunity, and while I'll be working with my profile, especially when there are a lot of them, I can easily change my mobile IP, and then anonymous work every time when I'll be working with them is guaranteed. Go to iProxy Online. On the right of the profile, select the GA. And in the window that opens, I need to select Change IP Address tab. Here is a link to change the IP. Now I need to copy it and paste it into Go login. Now we need to check the proxy. Click Check Proxy. As you can see, everything is working correctly. Next is the Time Zone tab. I don't recommend you to touch anything here. By default, Go login selects and configure optimal settings for your work, so there won't be any questions and prints are also from real live browsers. Another plus of the browser is extensions. You can install extensions that also used in Chrome, and this will allow you to optimize your work, ads block or others. The browser offers to install many extensions for your tasks. This is up to you, and it all depends on your tasks. WebRTC and geolocation I also do not recommend you to change. Here everything is set up optimally. Advanced tab. It displays the user agent, resolution, language which you can change. All changes will be displayed on the right. I recommend you to make changes here only if you know what you need to change. Otherwise, leave everything as it is. As I said, it is optimal settings. Well, the last tab here is cookies. You can import your cookies for each profile separately. I will use cookies from my Facebook account. If you have created a doc on your PC, then you can drag it here. Or below in the field, set manually, just like I did it. When everything is entered, you can see that all the information about your profile is immediately displayed here. Now click Create Profile. 
the profile has been created. Now, if you select this profile, then from above you can edit and run this profile. You can also give access to your profile to other users. Click Share Profile. Here you can specify the user's email address and in what status he can use the profile. View edit or to be an admin. When you choose necessary variant, you can send an invite. You can also create folders. In other browsers it has a group name. And drop a profile or multiple profiles into the appropriate folders in order to optimize work with them. It can be platforms, tasks and other purposes. In the folder tab, create appropriate folders and work with them. You can also immediately edit extensions, clone the created profile, update fingerprints, export and set another proxy. Click on proxy. As you can see only one proxy set here, which I entered before. And here at the bottom you can set as much proxies as you need. And they will be used in turn when you'll be working with your profile. Also here you can start, stop and delete the profile. Let's run the created profile and see how it works. The browser has opened. Now I recommend you to check anonymity in order to make sure that the work will be safe before starting our work. Go to Huernet. As you can see, 100% disgust. Well, you also need to check how well the fingerprints have changed. Go to Pixel Scan Net. You see, everything is approved. There are no questions about IP either. Proxy from iProxy works fine and all traces are whipped. Let's go to Facebook. As you can see, I was automatically logged into my account. And at the same time, I did not enter my login and password. This means that the cookie input was successful and Facebook did not have any questions. And now I can work absolutely safely and anonymously. When you're done, just stop your profile. Ready. That's how it works. If you still have any questions after this video, then write them in the comments. We will help you to figure it out. And for those who want to understand traffic arbitration, we recommend the excellent resource fsecret.com. There are interesting articles, blogs and all the information you need on the topic. So you can become successful in traffic arbitrage. The link will be in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click like. That's all. Bye.